clean world is doing some amazing things. They're trying to be really good stewards of the earth and create a renewable source of energy. This day is awesome. Kind of a culmination of a dream. We're here today to celebrate an historic event. The formal launch of Clean World Partners Organic Waste Recycling Center at American River Packaging. This is a great day for American River Packaging. Clean World Partners manufactures anaerobic digestion technologies and we're installing integrated waste to energy systems. Repeat after me, anaerobic digester systems. The digester takes organic waste and it does the same job as your stomach and it turns it into two things, gas and some residual products that uh, can be used for soil amendments and fertilizers. So we're essentially breaking material down and creating uh, a gas that happens naturally through a bacterial process. Capture that gas, clean it, and ultimately convert it into electricity. It will actually provide American River Packaging a third of its electricity needs on the project. You know, anaerobic digestion has been going on for many years, but this is the first one actually built in the United States for this type of digestion. And the difference is that it's a high degree of solid waste content. So working with our solid waste material and solid waste material from others like Campbell Soup, we're able to put uh, material in here up to 60% solids. And a lot of digesters might have uh, solids in the, in the neighborhood of maybe 9%. And I always think back of the uh, movie Back to the Future, and I think of the guy putting food scraps into the flux capacitor, and I think, I think I'm going to see that in my lifetime. So it's pretty cool. There's a certain amount of waste that comes from corrugated uh, paper that's from his operations here, and a certain amount comes from food processors in, uh, in the region who have waste challenges. And so we're helping them you know, divert their waste to, to this facility. The project actually came together very quickly. In 2011, when we first licensed the technology from UC Davis for commercialization, we began looking for um, a partner that we can work with to site our first digester. And we really wanted to do uh, a digester that we could get up quickly so that we could demonstrate the technology. We wanted people to see that this was a commercially a viable project. So we began talking to Tom Candris. Michelle and I can move at the speed of entrepreneurship. When I learned more about uh, Clean World Partners, I began to learn that there was a lot more that I could do by being a good sustainable manufacturer, but also being a good steward and sponsor in the environment. Well, UC Davis is a research leader in a whole areas like engineering, biology, medicine. And this is really a technology that made this possible. It was developed right on the UC Davis campus. Dr. Zhang, on campus has developed the technologies in her lab. I'm the main inventor of the technologies, the process technologies used in this digester. This new technology was designed, tested in the lab first, then we scaled up for commercial application. And then eventually when the patents are in place and everything's ready to go, we look for a commercial partner who can take it and turn it into a product that's really going to be meaningful. And that's the next step, and that's what Clean World Partners has done. It's been a public-private partnership like no other. I'm proud to say that all of the partners that we're working for are all local companies. We're kind of an overall developer. We help through the permitting process, overseeing the design of the plans and how it would all fit on site. We were contacted originally by Auto Construction, uh, who was contacted originally by Clean World. And so they turned to us to uh, help design and fabricate the pump skids. There's a, there's a hot water pump skid and there's, a, and there's the waste uh, pump skid. And the two of them are, are what power all the material that goes through the tanks. These tanks were actually built in a plant and we can come out and set these all at one time. So where are the economics to make these work of building them inside of our plants? Uh, we have just the site hookup to do. So these skids have, uh, have a lot of pumps, valves, control devices, electronics, etc., to monitor the flow and, and keep the temperatures correct so that the, uh, uh, the biologics will uh, do their thing and then it runs through the tanks. This plant can be operated remotely. So the only time we really have people here is when we're loading. Uh, Like-minded uh, entrepreneurs can accomplish a lot if they put their heads together. We didn't start this project till the end of December and here we are opening it up. We've amazed a lot of people. How'd you do that? I want to thank everybody from the city of Sacramento. What we did is we sped up a process. We figured out some streamlining and we did it very effectively. It's probably employed uh, 40 people through the construction. We're proud to have been able to design, permit, fabricate, and install this organic waste recycling center in less than six months. 
This is the future, everyone, and it's really exciting. It shows what we can do in California. Well, you know, this is kind of the next uh, phase of our industry. You're going to see a lot of these projects built over the next few years. This kind of technology is very exciting. About 17% of what goes into landfills is food waste, and about 13% is, uh, is paper that can't be captured and recycled. It basically shows the people we can take our the things that we throw away on a daily basis and then produce some energy, other valuable products from it. So. It's so exciting to see it happen, see them do it in a way that looks like it's going to be commercially successful. It's a really neat deal. I mean, we're doing something good for the environment. Uh, obviously, we're producing some energy. We're putting some workers uh, uh, to work. Uh, it's pretty much a win-win all the way. Many of the people here today had some role in making this dream come true. And it was done in record time, and it was because we had so many committed people to making it happen. <laughs> and being a good steward and sponsor of, uh, of the environment means saving the planet one box at a time.